It's a really good question, what molecular gastronomy is. I actually hold the only chair in molecular gastronomy of anyone in the world. I have an honorary post in the University of Copenhagen, and I don't really know what it is anyway. It's a name which was emerged from the media and other places to cover all sorts of things and it sprang from some work we did a long time ago, but it's become used as a style of cooking and chefs use it as molecular cooking and stuff like that. Those who are doing it actually are interested in a very simple question. What makes food delicious? Why is it that I love something but somebody else won't like it? Why do I really love a food one day but not love it another day? What is it that makes us really enjoy our food? To understand that, you have to involve all the sciences. You need to understand where the food's grown, how it's processed, how it's harvested, how it's transported, what you do with it when you've got it in the kitchen, which is where the physics and chemistry come in, and then how it's presented on a plate, and what you do while you're eating it, who you're eating it with, where you're eating it, even what it looks like. And all these things combine to determine whether we think it's delicious or not. So we need physicists, chemists, agriculturalists, biologists, psychologists, physiologists on board. And at the end of the day, we hope we'll find out what makes food taste great. And if we can do that, then maybe we can help people eat a better diet.